Hi, this is Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart, and today I'm showing a Mama Elephant card using the brand new Cozy Christmas Stamp Set. I'll be using Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, and some of the treats, the cookies, the presents, the hot chocolate, and also the spare pair of mittens. I'm going to be using the Femme Frames, which includes the scallop rectangle and the stitched rectangle. I'm going to use both of these layered and I'm actually going to use the scallop rectangle as the base of the card. If you die cut a piece of paper that is already folded, you'd lose one edge of the scallop. So what I do when I create shaped cards is to die cut two panels of the same die and then score the back piece so that you have a nice clean edge to fold along when you open the card and write on the inside. What I do is I score about half an inch from the edge and then apply a good strip of adhesive so that the front panel stays attached to the back panel. If you wish you could use score tape which is a lot stronger but I find that regular adhesive is good enough. So there you see that the front of the card is very clean and you get the entire scallop rectangle shape. And that's how the card is going to look with the stitch panel on top. Now I'm going to take the three main elements and decide on the orientation of the card. I go back and forth a couple of times between the horizontal and vertical layout but I decide that the vertical one is better. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment first so that I know exactly where Mrs. Claus and Santa are going to sit. And I don't know if you could see that, but when I stamped Mrs. Claus, I kept Mr. Claus in place, and then I just moved him out of place as I was pressing Mrs. Claus down onto the paper. I like to color the skin first. Um, I don't know why I do that, but that's just what I do and then I work my way out from there so red was the next obvious choice and then I'm just doing the shading here as I usually do by applying lightest to darkest in three different shades of the same color and then going back over it with the lightest color to blend everything in So I was thinking a bit there about what colors to use on Mrs. Claus's dress and her apron and decided her dress would be green to contrast with Santa's outfit. And I'm going to keep her apron white, but I'm going to use some gray to shade it in. So after Mrs. Claus and Santa are colored in, I'm going to take another piece of paper to stamp the smaller elements on it and I'm going to be layering those 3D style with foam tape and that's where the extra mittens come in handy so I'm going to stamp two of everything in case I make a mistake on the coloring that way I don't have to re-stamp it later and now I'm going to color in all these smaller elements and fussy cut them. I'm just referring back to the main panels. I color these smaller elements so I can choose colors that will contrast against Mrs. Claus and Santa. So now that everything is colored, I'm going to trim off the paper and then fussy cut each little element.
So now I'm going to put everything in place. Mrs. Claus will hold the plate of cookies and Santa will hold the present. To determine the location of the cookies and the present, I don't want it covering their faces, nor do I want it placed too low, otherwise you can't see the details. So there it is, and now I'm going to take my Zig glue pen and tweezers, push that plate of cookies in place, and also the present. And then for the extra set of mittens, I'm going to apply them with foam tape so that they're popped up and it gives the images a 3D element. Kind of lost that last mitten there, so now that is done, I can place this panel onto the card base. I just have to decide whether I want it flat or raised with foam tape. And I've decided I want it raised. So there's my card. I love that you can use the scallop frame as a card base. It gives that card that extra pretty little detail. Thanks so much for watching.